What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you today. And it's a beginner Photoshop tutorial, it's not too hard to do, you don't need a lot of skill, but it's a really nice effect and will look really cool and professional. And the effect we're going to be doing is the cutout effect. So that is cutting this image into different pieces and kind of sectioning parts out using gradients, the uh, gradient selections and the brush tool. So, I've got this render, it works best on renders, uh, in fact it's essential, pretty much essential you have a render, so this is mine, and I'm going to create a bigger canvas, 1280 by 720 and then drag this in, and I'll also make this slightly bigger, and then erase this uh, little watermark, okay. So I've got the render and the first effect I'm going to show you is the gradient uh, sectioning effect. So we're going to come to the polygon or lasso tool and now you want to select the part of the render you want the gradient to cover. So I'm going to select his head or roughly his head. That's going to come out here and there. Then you want to create a new layer, come to the gradient tool, make sure the gradient is on color to transparent. Okay pick your foreground color, I'm going to have a orange and then simply drag from just outside the selection into it and I'm going to do that again drag it in and then control D to deselect and as you can see we've kind of sectioned this uh, sectioned his head off, it's almost like there's a line dividing it and then to get rid of all this gradient around the edge simply right click on the uh, gradient layer and go to create clipping mask okay so that's the gradient uh, gradient effect done I'm then going to create a new layer and then right click on it and go create clipping mask again so it's all ready for us then come to the brush tool make sure it's on soft brush and I've got mine on about 300 pixels and then choose a new color I'm going to do a light pink and then simply click wherever you want I'll click here and as you can see it's cut off uh, right at the edge of the render and that looks really cool so then you can lower the opacity a bit and I'm happy with that so the last uh, the last couple of effects are actually going to be cutting bits out of this so we will actually be cutting it and moving it so make sure you've got your render layer selected and then select the area you want to cut out it works best if you use a narrow wedge, I'll show you what I mean, if we go like that, down there, then like that, as you can see I've got this kind of narrow wedge shape and that works really well, I'm not saying you have to do that, it's good if you find your own shapes to cut out, but this is what I prefer, so then I'm just going to oh, make sure you've got your um, arrow selected and make sure you're clicking inside the selection click and hold and then drag out and for more precise movement you can use the arrow keys you can see I'm doing there it's a lot more precise and then control D to deselect I'm not actually happy with that I'm gonna move it out a bit more and nope okay yep yeah, that looks good so we've cut this section out and now I'm going to cut another section out but we're going to do it, uh, we're going to add something a bit different so if I cut out this section make it slightly bigger this time there we go and this time you actually want to right click and go layer via cut and doing that has uh, kind of screwed up everything else so you're going to drag this under and because of that it's undone the clipping masks just redo the clipping masks. So now we've got this shape here that we've cut out, and I can move that about, and that looks pretty good. You can use the arrow keys as well. So it's just like the other one, uh, except this time we've actually got a physical layer. Whereas here, if I hide that, you'll see the actual wedge disappears, but this doesn't because it's a separate layer. So we're going to click on this layer here, uh, here and go to the we're going to make a new layer over it right click go create clipping mask again 
come to your brush tool and choose a different color again I'll go for a green and brush over it then change the blending mode to color and then you can also uh, change uh, you can change some adjustments so if you come back to the layer this layer and go image adjustments I'll choose curves you can pull the curves right up make that a lot lighter similarly you could um, you could do any of these go hue saturation pull the saturation right up and it'll go quite grainy but I'm going to leave it like that and then you can also change all your different colors uh, like this green you can change the blending mode to color and that creates a nice effect like that and then uh, if you didn't want the harsh line uh, you can just soft brush along the line okay and then if you really wanted to go to town you could add a gradient map overlay and that is starting to look really cool All that any of these really so that's pretty much it and I'm happy with that that's a really nice effect to use on renders and I hope this was helpful uh, an update on the speed art contest I have seen all the entries but I haven't got around to judging it yet I still need to narrow it down to those uh, last two so expect the results soon but I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching this is cruise designs I'll see you in the next video thanks